Let's study today on what obesity really is. This is a billion dollar question all over the world. Whether you're chomping into a pizza or a burger, or whether you're running on the treadmill and watching your weight, the whole world wants to know what is obesity. So, let me tell you in simple terms. Scientifically, how we assess someone's obesity, and you could do this for yourself, is to measure your weight, let's say it's 100 kilograms. We measure your height in meters. So supposing you are 150 centimeters tall, we could say 1.5 meters. And we take a square of your height in meters, which means 1.5 squared, which will be 2.25. Your BMI would be your weight, namely your 100 kilograms, divided by your height squared, which is 2.25, which would bring it close to 40. Let's look at the ideal BMI. The ideal BMI all over the world, especially the Western world, is up to 25. For Asians, it's now recommended that the ideal BMI is less than 23.5. But let's look at international numbers, all right? So if you have a BMI of 25 to 30, you are overweight. 30 to 35, you're obese, and above 35, most of us call it morbid obesity. The word morbid here means that obesity or fatness, which is so much that it could kill you. There are many types of obesity and we're going to be studying about them in the ensuing segments. But there are two types, broadly speaking, safe obesity and dangerous obesity. Safe obesity is muscular obesity. If you took the BMI of an Arnold Schwarzenegger or a Sylvester Stallone, it's not going to be 22 and 23, it's going to be 27 or 28, but that's a muscular obesity. Whereas if you took the BMI of someone like say, Adnan Sami before her surgery, his BMI would be 45 or 50, full of fat. The fatty or adipose obesity is what's dangerous for you, whereas muscular obesity is safe for you. So you need to know the difference. I always say that we need to know which are the dangerous types of obesity and then we can take it up from there. Now, what are you going to do having classified your obesity? Obesity, when it comes with comorbid factors like diabetes and hypertension is much more dangerous for you than if you had obesity alone without diabetes or without hypertension. 